Are you sick and tired of dressing around your holster? Does your holster dictate what you're going to wear that day? Well, I got great news for you. There are holsters out there that do not require a belt. Yes, you heard me correct. There are holsters out there that do not require a belt. In this video, we are going to be going over the Filster Enigma Express, a holster that has its own belt. Let's get right into it. First, we need to go over what is the Filster Enigma. Um, the Enigma is less of a holster and more of a system. Uh, it's, it's like a chassis system. And the chassis is this plastic part that goes over the top of the holster. There's two different kinds of Enigmas you can get. You can get the standard Enigma that has a bigger faceplate. These are called faceplates. It has a bigger faceplate on it, but it comes disassembled. You have to assemble the whole thing yourself. And I believe it's cheaper than the Express. This is actually the, the Enigma Express. And the Enigma Express comes completely assembled with the holster on it. And it's a smaller faceplate. If you're going to carry with just one holster, no mag caddy whatsoever, get the Express. I think the Express is work, worth it with the smaller faceplate. If you're planning on adding an additional magazine, like a, a mag caddy type of situation, you probably want to get the original Enigma because it has a bigger faceplate that you can attach other things to, which they, sh which they do sell on their website, and we'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, what it is is a system that has a belt. Now, the belt is just like your standard nylon belt. Um, I think it's comfortable enough to wear, and what it does is it connects with this magnet system so it clips right in, and I know what you're thinking. Is that magnet gonna hold the gun up the entire time? And the answer is yes. Like I could pull this thing apart. I'm actually trying to pull that thing apart and I cannot do it. it the way it's designed, it's a very strong magnet. And the way you get it off is you actually pull this tab here and you have to pull it forward to get it off. It's actually a very nice system that they have made here. Originally, this holster comes with a leg leash, which is this thing right here that kind of connects to the bottom. And you put this through your leg and on. Um, the problem I had with that is you legitly have to take your pants off in order to put the leg leash on. Or you have to pull your pants down and take this part off, which I just did earlier, see if I can do it again. Take this part off, put it around your leg, snap it back on. It was just a mess. I didn't want to deal with that. I wanted something that was quick on, quick off, so I do not use the leg leash. Now that I didn't use the leg leash, I had to switch up my holsters because the retention on the Filster holster was set at a certain one. You cannot adjust it. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I ended up putting the T-Rex arms Raptor on here. And the reason I put it on there is because it has adjustable retention there and adjustable retention there as well. And I really like that because I wanted something with very little retention on the holster because if I am putting this on without the leg leash, okay, it's going to pull up if I have too much retention. So I wanted as little retention as possible and I'll do some B-roll on this, but I am able to draw this from concealment and not have the holster right up at all. It actually pops right out of the holster. My gun pops right out of the holster when I need it to. If you are gonna use the leg leash, their holster will work just fine. Um, it does come in a non-light bearing holster, light bearing holster as well. If um, they have their own light bearing holster, if you want to use theirs. There are plenty of holsters on the market that will work with this chassis system. I'm gonna take you guys up close. Uh, let me know what you think of the new desk mat. This is kind of my new uh, product review mat. I think it looks a lot better than the wood table. Um, but this is 
the Filster Enigma Express. Like I said, this is the smaller face plate. Um, the original Enigma has a bigger face plate. Uh, there's two screws at the bottom here holding it to the holster. This screw is simply just holding this piece in place. I'll show you right there. It's just holding this strap in place there. There are two ways you can adjust it. You can adjust it on this side going that way, or you can adjust it on this side. Um, I also cut off the excess strap, so it's right there. If I do need to tighten it, I can tighten it really, really easy going that direction. Um, if I feel that the holster is moving around a little too much, I can tighten it up a little bit. Remember I talked about the magnetic retention here. I can pull this thing apart. You can't. You just can't do it. Okay. Um, like I said before, taking the tab here, pulling it forward, and it comes right off. That is actually a really cool system there. I was a little skeptical at first, but it just snaps right in there and it is on there. You can't do anything. I can't even bend it this direction at all. Okay, you need to pull this tab forward in order for it to go. Um, so don't freak out about the magnetic part. It did come with its own holster. I got rid of that holster, like I said, put on the T-Rex Arms Raptor. I kept the wedge though. So it comes with two size wedges. This is the bigger wedge. There's actually a smaller wedge as well. I kept the wedge and I put it on the front of this holster and it actually worked out really, really well because it tucks it in nice and tight. It is very comfortable. Um, I did buy a tier one concealed wedge for this holster and actually I never really had to put it on because it's actually that comfortable to wear because it's not actually digging into anything because it's just sitting up against your belly. It's not really, there's no downward pressure going into your body. And you can flip and adjust this any way you want when you're sitting down, um, especially because you're wearing gym shorts or athletic shorts. A few things, they do make a sports belt that is just a thicker belt to make it more comfortable to carry. I have not had an issue with this belt. Um, this belt has been incredibly comfortable with this holster. I've worn it all day long. I've had no issues. Um, I know a lot of people online swear by the sports belt. Um, if you want the sports belt, buy it with the system. It's an extra $38 for that system, for that belt, excuse me. Also sell a separate mag caddy. If you want to run an additional mag with your system, uh, you can. That is an additional $38. You can do that as well. I briefly want to take you to a website that I found. A, lot, a couple of YouTube channels have mentioned this website, levodesigns.com. It is basically an entire company for the Filster Enigma Express. So it has leg straps in here. It has, um, they call these uh, papoose, conventional papoose. I guess it's supposed to make your Enigma more comfortable, I guess, and holster more comfortable. If you want to add another $50 to your order, you can have a uh, Express Papoose. While I have you here, let's talk about price. There's a reason why I left this to the last part of the video. This is an incredibly expensive system. I'm not going to call it a holster. I'm going to call it a system. It is $154 for the holster and the chassis system. If you're gonna add the reduced buckle, if you're gonna add the extra mag, if you're gonna add the sports belt, that is extra on top of the $154 price tag. It can get very pricey for this system, but I still believe that this system is worth it. When you buy this holster, just make it your own. Okay, buy the standard part first, figure it out. If you need all that extra stuff, then buy it. I know what a lot of you are thinking, what are the cons to this holster? Through my experience, I have found one big con, and it's not to this holster, it's not to this chassis system setup because I am not using the leg leash like I'm supposed to. But if you are not using the leg leash, the main issue that I have is the holster kind of shifting left and right. It's not in the same spot every single time like you would with a belted holster. So you kind of have to understand that when you are carrying this. 
you might have to shift your natural draw stroke a little bit when you are trying to get your firearm. That con is negligible in the fact that I can now carry this anywhere, anytime, no matter what clothing that I am wearing. And I absolutely love that about this holster. I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. If you couldn't tell, I am super excited about this holster. Uh, this holster is a game changer for a lot, I'm sure for a lot of you out there. If you are on the fence about this holster, get it. I was on the fence for the longest time and I am super excited that I got this holster. I thought this holster was just for women. I didn't think that men actually carried this holster, but I bought it anyway for my athletic clothes issues. And I'm telling you guys, it fixed every one of those issues. It is a great holster, especially when in the summertime, when you're wearing warmer types of clothes, you can still have a gun on you in those warmer months. Um, or to all my friends in the southern states that have warm weather basically all the time. But thanks for joining me today. Remember to train hard, get strong, be a protector. If no one said they love you today, I love you guys. God bless you all.